Hey, welcome to my back porch. I decided to do a little experiment with swiping. So I'm going to be using up extra paint or leftover paints. And there's a flower frog. I'm gonna try dragging that through and see what kind of results I get from that. And I also have a sponge that's a, I don't know, I think it probably belonged to like a heating pad or something at one time. So it's um, like a piece of paper sized sponge. And then I also have a, um, what is that called? The green scotch bright, yeah. Um, from leftover from doing some ceramic tile work in, in, in my house. So I thought I would, I had really good luck playing around with wet paper towel and I just thought I would try some other things and see if I what kind of results I came up with so I'm really just getting rid of the paint that I've been using the ends of it in the cup that have been in there for a couple of days in this part right here um, that I have no idea where that I oh that must be some runoff I think the first two colors that I put on were runoff uh, so they look kind of muddy and I put them on the bottom hoping that they wouldn't show through and uh, that worked out pretty well. So uh, I think that one of the biggest things with swiping is that whatever, for me, uh, whatever I'm swiping to be, uh, if it's a fabric or you know like a paper, I, I like for it to be wet and I think that helps weight, like for the paper towel, it helps to weight it and, and have it like stick to the paint but then like for the sponge coming up um, and the um, uh, uh, scotch bright pad it kind of helps to allow them to I guess the water provides a, almost like a lubricant so that it's not they're not sucking up the paint as you go along but they're saturated already so they just kind of drag through it and uh, so that uh, you'll see here and in, in how it works it's you know I think you have to find your favorite swiping material and something that's the right size for what you need uh, I have not tried um, swiping with plastic um, I've seen that and it has fantastic results I just haven't had a chance to try it yet as I'm kind of into using what's already in my house um, and I'm so far out of the school years with my grown kids that I don't really have um, boulders and plastic keepers and things like that so okay so I, I added a little bit of white in the spots because I wanted every bit of the canvas to be covered with some kind of paint so um, I think I had to make some white and black for this uh, because it seems like you, you know you use those up the most. Okay, so here goes the black at the top there, and what's first the scrot Scotch Bright? Yes. So the, this was really fun to pull with. It it gave you something really solid to hold on to, but I found it very difficult to pull straight. So you'll see it's a little zigzaggy, which of course is just another look that you you might want. And I don't know why that was so much more difficult to keep straight because this paper towel and, and that sponge right there were much easier so the last thing I'm going to pull is the flower frog which is basically this is an old one it's all metal so all that's happening is the the metal tines are kind of dragging the the black a little further than I thought that they would and uh, it leaves a little bit more of a um, like a streaked look the kind of streaks that are in those really nice rocks that you find where it has like a vein it kind of has that veined look uh, along with cells but it definitely didn't sell up this you know with with the amount of cells but the cells that it made were really pretty and they're kind of like along those vein lines so I, I, I think I would I would do that again uh, in, in a specific setting where I might be looking for that kind of uh, veining as well so the last part of this is me doing close-up oh wait first I'm gonna torch it with my torch that still is not very well um, broken in and it keeps 
stopping and sputtering and I think when I did this as soon as it started doing its light show issue and going all over the place I just gave up on it so there it went nice so I'm going to do the close-ups now and and I still haven't figured out how to slow this back down once I speed it up so you might want to skip to the end if this nauseates you because but it does show that it, you know of course with the swiping we always get fantastic cells um, there's that streaky part from the flower frog uh, the cells really weren't too different from the scotch bright sponge to the uh, or the scotch bright pad to the sponge although I think the scotch bright cells tended to have more colors in them which I found interesting so thanks for watching uh, like my video if you like it subscribe if you want to see more uh, share if you think there's